Do you have any news? Do you know where my sister is? Not yet, but I've not given up the search. I must leave now. Have any news? Do you know where my sister is? Not yet, but I've not given up the search. Was your sister fond of a young fisherman who also disappeared by any chance? That they have known each other since they were little. Like all the children of the village, they have always been friends. Only friends? Yes. He defended her when the mind shakers wanted to take her. But she is promised to another. The brother of the young fisherman told me that he suspected him to be in love. And it started with the story of the fight. He defended her because he has heart and because she is his friend. But she was promised. If the boy had a sweetheart, then it must be another young girl. Listen. I really need to know everything that can help me find your sister. Hiding something, anything, will only make me lose time. I have told you everything that I can. Bring her back to me. Please, do this. If your sister broke the promise, we shall keep the secret. She will not be banished by our doings. I believe you, Donegad. And I shall share with you all that I know. You are right. I know she loved this boy. ...and that they met each other in secret. Why did you hide that from me? I'm not her suitor. You are a Renaixe. You do not understand what a promise entails. When two young people give themselves to one another... ...they weave a bond between them... ...but also with their village. Breaking it would mean banishment. I didn't want her to have to leave. I see. That's why they had to meet in secret. Do you know where they went? In the clearing. Oh, I hope nothing has happened to them. I shall go and see if I can find any trace of them. I must leave now. Why did it take her so much time to accept that her sister was in love with that boy? Because her sister was betrothed to another. Breaking a promise is taking the risk of being exiled. Does one's word mean nothing on your island?
basket full of berries and a trap full of fish. All of it scattered and half eaten by beasts. Our two lost souls were here together. They must have been attacked, or they wouldn't have left these behind. Let's search the area. Maybe we can find their trail. That cavern seems home to some creatures. Let's be wary. It could very well be the lair of that great Tenlan the hunter spoke of. Three corpses. One is older than the others. Judging by his clothing, he was a missionary. The two others are more recent. A man and a woman. Our missing couple, no doubt. They were dragged here and devoured alive. What a I cannot believe that these missionaries use such a ruse to achieve their goals. Two youths died for this. Now you understand why some of us fought against the Nazi. Their words are always sweet, but all they believe is this. Let's return to the village. Their families need to be informed.
well on all Manawi. Have you found my brother? I found him, but I'm truly sorry your brother is dead. And the May the earth welcome him. I felt it. How did it come to pass? He knew every stone on our lands. It couldn't have been an accident. He had a liaison with a young girl from the village. They would meet in a clearing, and they must have forgotten the hour. Night took them by surprise and attend them across their path. I found both of them in the cavern of the beast. How oh, terrible. Why did he go to see the girl in secrecy? They could have... I must recover his body to give it up to the earth as is our custom. Where is it? With the body of the girl he loved in a cavern near the clearing. But it is a dangerous place. Other Tenlands might still be roaming there. Though I did kill quite a few. I have a duty owed to my little brother. Thank you, Onol Manawi. I will not forget this. I must be leaving. Do you have any news? Do you know where my sister is? Yes. I'm truly very sorry. Oh, no. Nah. Sir Tonsidag, please do not tell me that she is dead. I found her body in the lair of the Great Tenman, not far from the clearing. But how could she have been surprised by the beasts? She knew the danger. She went out to meet the young fisherman. The time must have flown by into the night. I'm so sorry. We found them both dead. I must bring her body back to carry out the right. You should not go alone. I killed as many as I could, but it would be better to be prudent. I shall follow your counsel on all Manawi. Two deaths are enough. Thank you. Thank you. I must leave now. One more thing. Yes? I fought against a great number of Tenlands. One that was quite spectacular. A great white beast. Its mere presence seemed to aggravate the others, attract them and make them aggressive. A beast sent by the demons, no doubt. But... Stop taking me for a fool. We also found a journal detailing your vicious plan. I have only one piece of advice to give you. Leave, and quickly, or the Mother Cardinal will learn every detail of your manipulations. We shall be leaving as soon as possible. But let it be known that you are abandoning all of these poor souls to damnation. Perhaps you should be more concerned about your own soul, sister. People have died by your fault. The nests are destroyed, and with the death of the White Tenon, the attacks should cease. 
And we were even able to convince the missionaries to leave. Katasak should be willing to follow us now. Let's go and find him. face that you were victorious indeed i put the white tenland down who was enraging his kind and destroyed their nests the attack should no longer trouble you as for the missionaries we were able to convince them to leave although they were not willing to reveal their involvement in the attacks that caused you such harm and so they were in some way responsible i had my suspicions but i could not see their reasons they brought a particularly large beast here that attracted and enraged the others. This is what provoked the attacks and brought on our despair. These people have blood on their hands. In the end, we found the missing young ones. But alas, it was too late. Devoured by wild beasts. And divorced to your end. You did well on our Manawi. No, they shall be able to find the rest. Will you agree to accompany me now? My cousin needs your help. I have packed what is needed. I am ready to journey with you. me I can't control my body it's like being a stranger in a marionette set ablaze consumed by a smoldering fire the moment's growing near isn't it am I about to surrender my ghost to the Reaper of Souls you pop in just when you're needed, cousin, as always. Who are you? Your hand is cold as ice. Your cousin is burning. That is such a relief. Let me present Katisach, Constantine. He is the greatest healer on the island. He will help you. Please, stay. I am here for you, Rnaixe, and I will not leave until I found a way to ease your pain and suffering. Fill your mind with the patience of the ocean. I know not how much time I will need. I've never seen such a sickness. 
The spirits of your lands must be quite horrendous to cast down such evils upon the peoples that live there. Thank you. The mage doctor of Teleme put on quite a show of light. Lovely. But it had no remedial effect. I give you my last ounce of hope. Thank you, cousin. I don't want to imagine my plight without your intervention. Thank <laughs> you.